Right, we are backstage at the Q Awards, Mr. Liam Gallagher. Congratulations, yes. two awards under your belts this yeah, evening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd have had three months, to be fair, because that psycho team by Kasabian is not fucking nowhere near as good as Wall of Glass. And I know they think it is, and I know the people voted for it and all that, but deep down, it fucking ain't. Now, I ain't a greedy person, right, but I'm just letting people know in case they don't know, and Tom knows it, and Serge knows it. And that's good, I'm glad you had. I'm fucking that psycho tune ended the day. Well, I'm glad you had. Not that I'm saying I wanted an award for it, because I fucking don't want an award for nothing, you know what I mean? Can we start with the best live act? Don't even want that either, you know what Why I mean? Not? Because I, I don't, yeah, I mean, listen, I've done some good gigs, man, and it's good to get back, and I know for a fact I can shake a room with the right band and the right songs, but I, was, I wasn't expecting that, man, to be fair, even though I'll take it, you know what I mean? But I think the likes of like Storms and whoever else is in that, I think it's that of the kids now, you know, the, or the next generation to be having stuff like that. I'd be worried, man, if like, you know, I know I'm digging myself out, but I was certainly weren't expecting it. I was expecting the fucking single, and obviously the icon thing. Okay. You know what I mean, what would you say to him what, that makes a really great live performance? What would be your... Uh, not jumping around like a fucking idiot, <laughs> right? Yeah, and like keeping your eye on the fucking crowd mm. and not get carried away. It's not a fucking bar mitzvah, you know what I mean? Or it's not like a fucking... It's not like a, it's not like a kiddie party, you know what I mean? A lot of people get... As soon as they hear the tune, they all start jumping around like fucking idiots. Did he do that in rehearsals? For me, it's keeping your eye on the fucking ball and like obviously doing well and playing guitar well and singing well and just... Just fucking trying to like, just keeping it fucking super real, man. That's for me. Now, other people find that a little bit boring and they want a little bit of theatre and drama. Mm. So. Q icon, let's quickly brush on that then. Mm. Who, who was your icon? But who is your icon? Well, uh, who would you give that award to? Well, oh, well, I'd definitely give it to Richard Ashcroft because he's an icon without a fucking doubt. And he presented um, you an award yeah, tonight. He did, yeah, 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 and I love Richard and all that. And I've got to say massive thanks for him taking him his time out. Him and his wife, the good Kate, you know what I mean, to come down and do these things because I know it's not everyone's fucking thing. And like, obviously, I'd do it for him, and he's obviously done it for me, but you know, so I'd uh, give him one. I mean, he should definitely deserve one, even though he probably got one anyway. But uh, he, I don't know, I mean, I love the Stone Roses going up, so um, you know, that's, that was my so thing. Obviously, the press always make their, up their own rumors and stuff, but there's all this talk, it's you know, about how trying to get the Verve and Oasis back yeah, on the yeah. same bill. Well, I was just a little, I was a little bit tipsy that night, I thought, <laughs> what would be a good idea, you know what I mean? But I'll I slip just, Oasis but, into that conversation. Yeah, yeah, Oasis ain't getting back together, there you go. But the Verve might be and the Stone Roses might be, you know what I mean? But I think, I think with all the shit that's going on in the world, you know what I mean, with everyone being fucking. You know, the world's like United King fucking Doom, innit? You know what I mean? It's not King Dom, is it? You know what I mean? So I think a lot of people like, and this is not me putting it out there going, oh, I need my brother. I'm quite happy doing what I'm doing. I'm having a nice time. I'm sure he is, you know what I mean? But I just think sometimes like the Smiths and the Jam and all that and all these like, we've got such a fucking great life, you know what I mean? I think we should put all our shit aside and just all have a good fucking time, you know what I mean? Before, you know, we all fucking get you know, go somewhere else, you know what I mean? I just think it's, a, I think it's a real waste, you know what I mean, when people sit there and go, well, how much is he getting? Oh, well, I don't know. And how much is he, how big is his dressing room? The fucking Verve, the Stone Roses, we shouldn't have to wait for these things to happen when we're in heaven. Just do it. Or, or you know, heaven or wherever we go. We're, just, we're living on earth, man. Let's fucking do it now, you know what I mean? Yeah. But that's just wishful thinking. A few more questions for you. I know you're really busy. Um, congratulations on I number one album. Really. <laughs> Well, you've had a busy week, haven't you? Yeah, no, I'm not actually. I've been, no, right. I've done anything. But you're probably busy, but go on. No, no. So <coughs> when you went to bed the night that you got the number one, did you just sort of sit there and think, bloody brilliant? It's not Christmas and I'm not fucking nine. But, but yeah, I made up that the album's been received really well, you know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of people that get a number one, like, with 3,000 copies these days, and that ain't fucking good enough for me, you know what I mean? So, obviously, it sold well, and it seemed like people really want a Liam Gallagher record so that's made me happy so I guess we're going to do another one you know what I mean so yeah I'm really happy the, show, the tour sold out being me today is like really fucking happy you know what I mean